Breaking now, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir is in town to present a $175,000 check to the city of Newport to work on the Purple People Bridge. Right now, detectives believe more victims could be identified in this case. They're asking anyone with information on where Reynolds might be to call it in. They say you can even email tips to the Warren County Sheriff's Office. This drone may be small in size, but to the trained team flying it, the magnitude of its value is unmatched. Well, we are live here outside the Colerain Township Police Department because it is the investigators here who believe that Heather Adkins is responsible for leaving her son, Martin Thomas Adkins, stranded alongside a road right here in Colerain. Tomorrow is a first alert weather day. But as you can see, the rain is already here. Good evening to you. I'm Jessica Schmidt. This system of rain moved through parts of the viewing area this afternoon, and we're here to tell you that more is coming. Let's get started right away with meteorologist Ethan Emery. A big trade for the Reds that includes a big name player. So who is out for the Cincinnati Reds and who's in for the NCAA tournament? Sports director Joe D, of course, following both stories tonight. Joe? No one is facing charges connected to Caitlin's death. The not knowing haunts both Dave Markham and Caitlin's sister, Allie. Yet the trauma hasn't stopped Dave from helping others in Caitlin's name. So back out here in Hamilton again, that snow is continuing to fall. The roads are still covered, especially those secondary roads. We've seen the plows, but it is very difficult for all those crews to keep up with all of this wintry mix that has continued throughout tonight. So we're going to stay out here again, continue to monitor these conditions, bring you updates both on air and online. For now, we're live here in Hamilton, Jessica Schmidt, Fox 19 Now. Jessica, Rob and I were